over the weekend, we kept our promise to help Melbourne's Ascot Vale Special School. Now, the effort from everyone involved was just incredible. It would have taken the school five years to save up for a new barbecue area, but thanks to the Sunrise family, all of you, we did it in one week. Take a look at how it unfolded. Mel, you won't believe the excitement that you have created in this school at Ascot Vale Special School down here in Melbourne when we announced that we, Sunrise, will step up the mark and fix up your barbecue area for you. The concrete. Hello, how are you? What's your name? Right, let's get to work. Can yeah. you walk on the concrete? No. Oh. Oh. Hey Grant, where do you want this soil, mate? Oh, Mark, I reckon about over there, mate. I reckon that's the top okay. of the spot yep. for it. Thanks, mate. Come over here. Yep. One more. One more. There we go. There you go. Um, Craig, this could take a while. Hang on, back there. So what, what does it mean to you to work on something like this? You've donated your time, you've been here a week. It's a big commitment. I think I'm very fortunate to be able to, to do it. Um, I've been very lucky and I think to, be, to give a little bit back is um, is not a big thing. Yeah. Yeah, and I do it, I wish I could do a bit more of it, to be yeah. honest. When you see the kids and the smile on their face, you know they're getting so much out of it and it's such a little thing for us to do. Cause you're working for the man Compacting so that if the kids step on them, they don't move. There we go. Working for the man. Working for the man. Okay, watch that, Barrett. Oh, look, I can put this in my thing. We're pretty close. At the moment, we're spot on. Oh, good game, big fella. Spot on with the light. Carry my phone, nappies. Oh, I've got it. Your hip flask. Oh, <laughs> Look at that. Bonza. You're doing a good job there. It's <laughs> more of it on the ground than out on the wall. How excited are you? I'm really excited. It's great. And to see it all come to fruition, that's the best thing. Mm. Because sometimes when you do plans for people, it can be three or four months before it actually happens. So here from drawing, it's been, you know, like two weeks and everyone's just come in and done their bit and it's fantastic. <laughs> When you hear the sizzle, it means it's open. Ready? Yeah! Oh, it was great, boys. Yeah. Well. It was just Wonderful. a great couple of days. Yeah. Now, we couldn't have done it without the companies who donated their time and labour, so we want to say a big thanks. Bart King and BioGreen for all the mulch. Birdettes provided the sand for the play area. Uh, the plants came from Bunnings. DA Christie installed a whiz-bang new barbie. Thanks also to Juro Sand and Supplies HG Turf and Cartaway. Russell did the wonderful mural and Nanette from Artivity did the mosaics. And we also need to thank Oceania Universal for the concrete play space for the toy boat. Jono from Selkirks who did all the bricks and Jeremy from the Stone Company. 
Survey King, TFH Temporary Fence Hire, Troublesome Trees and Vic Mesh. And most importantly, we need to thank Craig from Conley's Timber, Mary from the Contrary Garden, <laughs> that's a great name, isn't it? And our builder, Noel, yeah. and the excavator, Scott Lewis, and also Rob with all the carpentry mm -hmm. and all that sort of stuff. Without their hard work, this project wouldn't have been possible. We put details of all the businesses that helped on our website, so go and support them. Yeah. And we encourage you to, to really give them a pat on the back when you, when you see them as well. Um, Craig and Noel and Rob and Mary were there for the whole week doing all the lead up work. So it's it such was an incredible a job. A big commitment. Yeah, and Eric did a, yep, all the cementing. And of course, a big thank you to Eddie, our producer, Edwina Bartholomew. She spent lots of days tying it all together, rallying everybody's support and uh, it Look what terrific. happened. It just is gorgeous, it gorgeous, lovely play area for the kids. So I hope you all enjoy it. The kids were fantastic. It oh, is a gorgeous. really incredible school that they look after these. These kids, they have little workshop areas that they, they do crafts for local businesses. And it's all about helping them do the transition out of school. And a couple mm. of the old students came back and, you know, They've got great jobs now and they went to TAFE and it really makes a, a huge difference. So congratulations to the staff there who do a wonderful job. They do. Incredible is it what you can do with a big team effort in a short oh, space of time. Yeah. Just How amazing. many people want to help? Mm. Yep. You know, yes. lots of people would rather do that than donate some money. You can feel, you, you know, yeah. yes. where the work's going. Yeah. Lots of people were really encouraged. Yeah, and the lovely so. lady across the road who came over and she oh. bought us a basket of homemade muffins and she offered us, if we wanted to have a shower before we mm. left, you know, we could go over there and just, just so it's many just kind yeah. of. Uh, just quickly, did you give back that nail gun to Nat? <coughs> Pardon? Did you give back the nail gun? Mm. We're just worried that you, you haven't got it. Got to move on. Got to move on. Other stuff to say. She was dangerous with a nail gun. <laughs> the tool belt will be handy though.